first announced its glass project, there were a lot of naysayers, and mostly what they said was, you'll look stupid wearing them. Okay, I was one of the few who was in favor of Google Glass. I thought it would be awesome to have a permanent heads-up display with mapping and Twitter and information and this kind of virtual world happening all around you. I am sorry to say that I was wrong. It turns out that Google Glass represents a new frontier in human rudeness, inattention, and danger. First, there's the human interaction factor. I mean, I'm walking down the street, but I'm living in a virtual parallel world where I've like got my Twitter and my Facebook and my map, and I don't even care because I'm a glass hole. And I personally refuse to ever have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone wearing Google Glass. I mean, it's bad enough that everybody gets out their phone and starts typing while you're speaking to them. Imagine when their eyes start wandering slowly so skyward. the pineapple and we're like, let's buy some pina coladas. We carve out this giant pineapple. It's awesome. And then somebody okay. puts on Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch, and everyone just starts. Okay, bad enough. Oh, oops. Then there's the mobility factor. People in San Francisco are actually riding their bikes around wearing these things. In fact, I once saw a guy crash into a curb, dive into a group of pedestrians, and then look around in a panic for his glasses, his Google glasses. Does anything about this seem like a good idea? Finally, there's the stuff that just should be against the law. West Virginia is considering legislation that would ban Google Glass while driving. The UK is thinking about enacting the same laws. And I gotta say, everybody everywhere should be working on this law. There is nothing about driving while you're distracted by Twitter feeds and maps and all kinds of other crap that is a good idea. It's like a disaster waiting to happen. Now, I'm not trying to be anti-technology here. I love the idea of Google Glass. I don't think they look stupid. I think I look kind of cute. It's just that when they come about, I think we also need self-driving cars and a whole lot of self-restraint. So I'm thinking the world is not yet ready for Google Glass. Okay, Glass. <laughs>